Final Destination is a gory horror film from uh, the year 2000. It is directed by James Wong, not to be confused with James Wan, who directed the first Saw film. It stars Devin Sawar, Ali Lata, and Kristen Cloak. So the basic plot is very simple. The movie starts with the main character, Alex, who is played by Devin Sawar, whoever he is, and it involves him getting a premonition of a plane that he is going to be on soon with all of his student friends crashing and destroying everyone. This is obviously 2000, so pre-9-11, so they could get away with that kind of stuff. But he has this premonition which makes him essentially get off the plane and because some people see him and think, oh no, he's going off the plane, I should probably do the same, they get off and they essentially survive and obviously they ridicule him for his dream until the plane actually crashes and then the movie goes on from there into loads of stupid places which I'm going to tell you about. Apparently these few characters who survived have a subverted death's plan in these movies. Death is an entity that can come and actually deal with you um, passively supposedly and it'll do this by dropping objects from you from stupid distances, it'll do it by controlling water to make you slip up and choke yourself over shower heads is really that stupid and the film basically suggests that death will come and kill you if you don't follow its plan and because these people survived they have to die somehow and in the order death originally intended them to. The premise actually comes from a couple of writers from the X-Files series which many of you know will is somewhat similar to the Twilight Zone in many respects. It has a certain weird plot thing to it for each episode and it deals with that for one episode alone. It, unfortunately, those episodes are episodes. They are 40 minutes long, they are short, and they are compact. This is a film that expects to carry itself for about 100 minutes, and it doesn't work at all. It has such a small amount to bring during the runtime that it just feels horribly paced, horribly spaced out, and essentially the only thing you're going to come to these movies for after watching this one is to see more people die in silly ways and even then you're better off going to the Saw franchise for that because that has more of it. This film doesn't even realise that that's all it is. It tries to give you actual characters and completely fails on delivering on them. It tries to give you a compelling story and fails on delivering on that because it fails on delivering on characters that you care about and so essentially this movie is about people dying and the only reason you're going to watch Final Destination is to watch people die and even then they don't die enough. It really doesn't give anything for anyone in that respect. Like, It doesn't make sense to me how someone can enjoy these films. It really boggles my mind and I don't understand how they got a huge franchise out of it because that suggests that people continue to see these films and that boggles my mind even more and depresses me slightly. Also the movie comes out about a year after American Pie which was obviously a smash hit that got a certain number of sequels as well but at least they were a little bit more warranted than this but regardless American Pie had just come out it was hugely successful from the beginning of this movie you get the vibe that this film was actually going to try and incorporate some of those sort of American Pie tropes you know the the douchebag guys that are looking at the girls and the girls don't serve any purpose other to get looked at by douchebag guys and it was funny I was telling my friend this um, and we actually checked when the film came out to figure this out and validate it and then as soon as this happens Sean William Scott, who some of you will know as Stifler from the American Pie series, wanders onto the plane and sits down and that just that tells you everything you really need to know. It is just trying to be something it's not, trying to incorporate elements from other film series that it, it fails at doing and even when it sticks to its own genre it's just boring. As I've said, the gimmick of the series is that people die in silly and interesting apparently ways and this film attempts that relatively well. Uh, the base is strong enough but because of the characters again there's literally nothing to it so maybe some people want that, maybe some people don't really want to care about what they're watching they just want shallow people dying, gore, you know all that stuff but the movie doesn't have very good special effects and neither do uh, the sequels, I've seen a few of them so it doesn't feel physical at all, it doesn't feel like people actually dying, it just feels like CGI knives sticking into a ghostly ethereal body it just doesn't have that effect that despite the flaws of the Saw franchise I will give it when people die you know they've died and I can sort of respect people for coming for that and getting that if you come to the Final Destination movies at least the first two and expect that sort of vis visceral gore in my opinion you don't really get it and you get a few fleeting moments of haha that was a funny way for someone to die and then 
that's it and it's not really worth waiting. It's one of those movies where you stick it up and you skip to the good bits. You skip to the bits where people die and you don't pretend that you're here for anything more than that. Because if you actually sit and watch 100 minutes of Final Destination, you are wasting your time. There are better things you could be doing and watching better movies about the same thing. In the end, that's what Final Destination is. It's a pile of rubbish which has a few things that it tries to draw the teenage crowds into but even there it doesn't deliver and in the end it doesn't really deliver anywhere as far as I'm concerned. It's just stupid, 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 not in the good ways, not in the ways we want. So in the end I give Final Destination a 2 out of 10. I think it is absolutely awful in nearly every way. I don't understand what people see in it but I won't deny, I won't pretend that people don't see something, in, at least in this first one. Despite the tepid reviews, famous film critics such as Roger Ebert have given the film sort of 7-ish out of 10s, 3 out of 4 stars. And obviously there is something to be found here, but in my world I'm not seeing it, and maybe you will, but based off of my suggestion, I have to say, please, please don't get involved in this series. You know, you can still save yourselves, I wasn't so lucky. So guys, that was my review of Final Destination. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please like and favourite in the irrelevant boxes below, you know what to click. And uh, if you really liked it and you want to see more, please subscribe, there's always going to be more coming. Um, I really appreciate you watching again. Thank you.